All right, my name is Dylan Rubenking with Duck TV Sports, and I'm here with Oregon tight end commit 2021, Terrence Ferguson. Terrence, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing well, man. Thank you for being here. Yeah, of course. <clears throat> so you have a lot of offers um, going into um, your recruitment process from Auburn, Tennessee, Ohio State, and a couple in uh, Colorado, your home state. Uh, what brought you to the West Coast to play for Oregon? Um, I'd say the coaching staff, really. Coach Cristobal and the staff that he has up there, second to none that I talked to. And I just felt the most family presence there. And I feel like they could develop me to the to be the best title that I could be and uh, achieve my dreams of getting to the next level. So I think that was probably the biggest thing. For sure. And the last few seasons under Coach Cristobal has seen some of the best recruiting classes that the program's ever seen. What mm -hmm. do you think it is about – Coach Cristobal and this coaching staff that that makes the U of O such a, a desirable spot. Um, I'd say he's really gets close with his recruits. I'd say, especially on my part, I feel like me and him built a good relationship. But he also built a good relationship with my dad and my mom and my whole family, really. And um, uh, and I never even got to get up there to really. I talked to him in person probably like twice when he's come to the school. Um, so. I think that's kind of a big thing. He gets really close to his recruits and uh, treats treats us like family first. So, have you been to Eugene at all yet? I have not. I've not been there. Do you know when you're gonna head down there for a visit? Yeah, uh, as soon as they hopefully if they make it, where recruits can visit. But if not, I'll just be down there in uh, January for uh, school. For sure. So you're graduating high school early. Yeah, I'll graduate in December. Awesome. Yeah, because I saw that you tweeted last week that you're uh, you're done with high school football and mm -hmm. on to the next chapter. Um, what kind of went into that decision? Obviously, I know that high school football is probably not happening in Colorado for that. What was that process like for you? Um, so originally, I was looking for somewhere to go play high school out of state, and uh, we were planning on like moving. But um, with all the credits and like everything that had to transfer over, I wouldn't be able to graduate early in some places. Um, so we, I decided to stay and, um, I wanted to graduate early cause I wanted to get up there and start working and, uh, learn the plays, get under the diet and the, uh, like workouts and everything. Um, so I really just kind of sat down and thought about it that way. And then especially now with the season being pushed back to the spring, I think it's even a better opportunity for me to start playing early if I get up there uh, in January. Absolutely. Um, what personal goals have you, you set for yourself to accomplish on the football field while at Oregon? Um, I want to play as early as I can, but um, the the main goal, I'd say, is to be able to be an NFL draft pick when it's all said and done. And uh, another big goal, I got some I got some big goals um, to be a Mackey Award winner as well. That is awesome, man. I really yeah. hope you get there. You're exciting to watch. I was watching some of the, the tape on you and it's it's really exciting to watch. I can't wait to watch the fit. Thank you, thank you. Um, so speaking of your fit with the team, um, by the time you're on campus and you're and you're in a duck uniform, um, there'll be a pretty stacked tight end group with Spencer Webb and Patrick Herbert and then Matt Aval coming in. Um, what do you think your role and your fit is going to be with the team uh, in 2021? Um, I'm not exactly sure, um, but. I know when I'm get when I get up there, I'm just gonna compete and uh, try my hardest and work as hard as I can to be able to play early wherever that is, whenever that is. Um, and I think that's just kind of my biggest thing: is putting my head down and working hard to get where I want. Definitely, I saw in your Twitter bio that you have wide receiver and tight end. Are you looking mm -hmm. to play tight end at Oregon, or are you yeah, I'm, I'm looking to play tight end. I played. I really just played wide receiver in high school because we also had another tight end that's committed to CU now. So we had two big tight ends, and I was kind of more of the flexible tight end that could move all the way out. So I just played a wide receiver most of the time. Gotcha. Um, yeah. And I've been seeing that you you play basketball. Uh, you talked to me about how you were playing in the tournament. Um, mm -hmm. Have you – how how good of basketball are you? Are you thinking about maybe playing basketball at Oregon? Yeah, no. I'm not, I'm not that good. Um, I really just – I can't shoot at all, so I'd say that's like the big thing. I, I, besides that, I'd say I'm a pretty good basketball player all the way around, but shooting, is, I just can't shoot. So, yeah. Well, I mean, you don't need to shoot to, to make it. I mean, look at Ben Simmons. 
Yeah, that is true. Um, but has football always been your your first love? Oh uh, yeah, definitely. I started when I started playing. I think I kind of fell in love with it after getting hit around a little bit. My first year was kind of rough, um, but after that, I fell in love with it. Awesome. Um, so talking more about COVID nineteen and its impact on high school sports. Um, and more broadly, how was the end of your, your junior year of high school affected by COVID-19? Um, it didn't really – it affected, like, so our basketball season, not really ours because we weren't, weren't, like, that far in the playoffs, but it kind of cut our state basketball championship off. Um, I'd say, like, the biggest thing was uh, working out with the football team. Usually in the summer we're going every day at uh, 6.30 in the morning, and we have, like, spring camp and everything and so we're, we're we spend most of the day there for a good three weeks probably with camp and uh we call it like quarterback school but it's like for the receivers and everything we're from we're there usually from like seven to six usually so it's like a full day of work there so i'd say that was a big thing um i think it really like showed who wants it and who's still willing to work when it's you have another hurdle to jump over um i, I had to work at my work out of my house, kind of makeshift some stuff to get, get some work in. And uh, I say it just kind of affected that really. It was working out. And were you uh, in lockdown in Colorado? Yeah, we, yeah, we were in lockdown. Gotcha. Um, how was it back home dealing with the virus? I've lived in, in Washington throughout and uh, I haven't really heard too much about how Colorado has been doing. How did they handle the quarantine? Um, we had a court. It was, it's been pretty good. Um, everybody's been trying to wear masks and everything. And for a while there, a lot of stuff was closed. Like almost everything was closed. And uh, it was kind of, kind of, we kind of, we were like everyone was stuck in their house for probably a good two weeks, really. But um, it's been good. We've been taking care of business, I think. And the numbers have gone down out here. So um, I think we're doing pretty good. That's good to hear. Um. Yeah. And you talked a little bit about like working out at home. Um, what was kind of your daily routine like when you were um, in lockdown and preparing for the season? Um, I so I'd work out with my dad, um, and then I'd also we'd work out in the morning as well. So we, once with school started getting back together, we worked out in the morning, but it was just uh, run, running really and like uh, stuff outside. We couldn't get in the weight room, so I'd work out there with the team. And then um, uh, I'd usually go to work. I worked for a little bit there. And then uh, I'd come home. And then when my dad got home from work, me and him and my uh, cousin who lives with me would work out in our little weight room that we have. So it, it was mainly that. And then whenever I had seven on seven practices or uh, other things like that, basketball practice, I'd go to those too. Definitely. Um and typically recruiters at universities uh, don't contact prospects over Zoom. Um, so mm -hmm. how was the recruitment process like for you during COVID-19? Did you, were you able to talk to coaches before it started? Uh, yeah, I got to talk to coaches and um, I think a lot of them adapted pretty quick. So I had a couple like virtual visits and stuff uh, with some of my like top schools. And um, I've actually had like Zoom meetings and, uh, like FaceTimes and stuff with coaches as well. So they actually, I think they they adapted pretty well and started using Zoom quite a bit actually towards the end of it. Went a little into my recruiting, so. And uh, have you been able to talk to um, the Oregon coaching staff a little bit um, since your recruitment process? Yeah, yeah, I've been able to talk to them. Uh, I text with most of the coaches on the daily and uh, we get on like a Zoom meeting every other week or every week or whenever is possible. Mm -hmm. Did the uh, pandemic affect your commitment at all, your decision? Um, I'd like it's, I'd say it sped it up a little bit, like a couple months maybe, but um, it didn't really affect me. Um, I was really was down to like a top five. And um, so I was really already down to a top five when it kind of happened and everything. So I just needed to make that final decision where I just was for sure where I wanted to go and I think it was already apparent where I really wanted to go with Oregon um, with the coaches and everything so I just kind of through the quarantine them still pursuing me and talking to me and uh, trying to get me on virtual visits and doing everything they could 
so it kind of put like the stamp on it saying like that's exactly where I want to go so for sure and um when you first started getting kind of noticed on puddle and you know you started getting recruits um when you started getting you know big name schools like Ohio State USC mm -hmm. Oregon um was it always Oregon or was it kind of like a development like once you started talking to the coaching staff they kind of built for you um it was kind of a development I'd say I'd say um they offered me pretty early I think they were my fourth scholarship and um I had some big ones pretty early with like LSU Ohio State um, them and so I think really throughout it just kind of developed it wasn't like oh I'm going to Oregon right off the bat when I got that offer um I think that I just built the best relationship with their coaching staff and they uh, showed me a lot of love and I love the way I fit in their system and I think that just kind of it all played out perfectly because growing up I was a uh, Oregon fan and you kind of look at it differently when you're being recruited and that from uh, being a fan so I at first I didn't really think it would work out but uh, it worked out perfectly so I love to hear that man um, yeah. so when COVID-19 is hopefully over um, and you're mm -hmm. officially a duck in 2021. What are you most looking forward to? Um, honestly, just getting up there and being able to work out in the weight room with all the guys and uh, just get after and be able to play football again. Definitely. Um, and which prospects are you most excited to get to work with? Um, I'd say all of my class. And then uh, we we kind of talked and everything. I can't wait to get to work with them. And I think we'll probably have a good – good relationship with all of us. Absolutely. I can't wait to, um, I know you're excited to work with uh, Ty Thompson. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Five star. Um, how do you think you'll, uh, presuming that he'll be the, the guy when you're there, how do you think you'll fit in with him? I think I'll fit perfect. He's, he's a great quarterback. He's, I, my opinion, and I really think there's not a lot of people who can say otherwise he's the best quarterback in the nation in this class. The kid, he's he's uh, he's he's pretty good. I'll leave it at that. Yeah, it's hard so to. So I think I'll, in, I think I'll fit in perfect with him. He has a lot of weapons around him too, and I think I think he'll flourish. Right on. And uh, what tight ends do you uh, look up to in like the like any Oregon tight ends or NFL tight ends that inspire you? Uh, I look up Travis Kelsey and uh, Kittle. I look up to those guys, but um, I'd say yeah, I probably say that. Definitely. And I got one last question for you. I appreciate you being here, man. Um, what are your favorite duck uniforms of all time? Uh, I'm all white, guys. So all white with the chrome helmets. That's, that's my favorite. I'd love to hear that, man. I, yeah. I think mine are like the 2015 Rose Bowl, the apple green. Oh, well, yeah. Those, those were. Love those. Yeah. All right, man. Well, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, of course. Have a good one.